Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a tutorial on this look right here, and this is inspired slash recreated by Beyonce's preview music video called Mine featuring Drake. I got so many requests for this. I even got requests for it on my blog. I never get requests on my blog, so when I got that request on my blog, I was like, okay, I need to do it. I wasn't sure if I was going to do Blow music video or a Mine music video, so I put on a poll on my website, NikkiTutorials.com, and with like a whopping result of 90% for my music video, I decided to go for that one. I absolutely love it. It is so gorgeous. It is so colorful, yet um, it's it's dark and smoky, so perfect for a party, but it's it has color. And color is always a good thing. So yeah, I decided to recreate that look of Beyonce's Mine music video, and if you want to know how to get this, now please keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is apply a base to your eyelids to prevent the eyeshadow from creasing, and I'm using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pop for that. Okay, now from my Lorac Pro Unzipped Palette, I'm going to take my Unconditional Eyeshadow, and very softly with that, start defining your crease a bit. And we're going all the way in. And this is going to be a beautiful transition color for the blue and the purple. To give it a nice soft pink touch, I'm going to take Feather Pink Eyeshadow by MAC. And slightly above Unconditional, blend this in as well. And this will give an amazing pink touch. And later on, we're going to make it a little bit more extreme to just add in more. Now I'm going to take this sparkly midnight blue color right here. This is called Mystery. I have no idea what the brand is. I actually got this from eBay and I do not know what the brand is. It's just eBay midnight blue sparkle and somehow the name is Mystery and it's a beautiful color. And you're going to apply this to the inner third of the lid. So this inner part right here, one third of the lid, goes from the beginning to the first half of the iris and then you have the middle which is a two of the third and then you have a three of the third which is the outside and then also put this on the outer third matching the other half of the iris like that now i'm going to take shop and drop eyeshadow by mac and with this Place it really closely to the root of your lower lash line. And then we're going to use this as a guide for the shape of the entire eye. So from there, take it out upwards. And this will be a great guideline for how we want our shape of the eye to be. So this is the shape I'm going to work with and then fill in. And then from there, you can shop and drop in that mystery color and blend out that crease in a really nice way. And then go in your crease as well, really lightly above that gap. And then just slightly build your crease in. To further blend this, I'm going to take Sugar Pills Poison Plum and apply that to the other half of my crease. So right here where the blue stops and the pink begins, apply Poison Plum by Sugar Pill and that will act as a beautiful transition color as well and it just adds so much color and life into the look. I love it. Okay, taking Shop and Drop again, darkening the very outer parts of the eye. So this very inner corner here and this outer part here. Remember how I was talking about Feather Pink? We're gonna go back into the color and add more pink to give it a nice gradient effect. So add it above Poison Plum and give it a really sort of nice halo effect. Like it's really glowing above the smoky eye. Then go back in with Poison Plum, your purple, and reapply that to make it more vibrant and blend it with the pink. And you can sort of see a really nice gradient coming along. For that pop of blue, I'm going to take Cavu Blue Loose Color Pigment by OCC and apply this to that part that doesn't have any shadow yet. And just, oh my god, look at that color. Holy crap, holy blue crap. So just pack it on and go up till the crease and then sort of fill that entire gap up with the blue. Then wipe your brush off, really important. And then what you want to do is put your brush at the border of the dark blue and the bright blue and then sort of wiggle it to blend it, to really give it a nice seamless 
blend. Now take more of that blue because it's not bright enough. We need more. Again, pack it on. Boom, blue, wipe that brush off and dusted. For the bottom lid, I'm gonna take Sugar Pill's Darling Pigment and I'm gonna apply this wet and it is so stunning. And just apply that really closely to the roots of the lashes and go all the way to the inner corner. Okay, then take that darker blue color again and blend it in towards Darling Pigment. And then you have a really nice sort of blend between those two. This look is all about blending, y'all. Okay, what you want to do now is sparkle up that inner corner. And for that, I will be using my Jewel Effects in Shine by Makeup Studio. And with this, you want to take some and just place it on that very inner corner and kind of dab it out a bit. Okay, to open up my eyes, I will be using my Catrice Made to Stay Inside Eye Highlighter Pen. And all you want to do now is apply some mascara, and the mascaras I will be using are my Makeup Studio Waterproof 3D Extra Black, and my benefits, they're real. Okay, for cheeks, you want to do a soft contour, because Beyonce was wearing a really soft blush and a really soft contour and a lot of shine. Queen B knows how to glow. So to contour my face, I'm going to use my Illamasqua Heroin Eyeshadow. And um, since I do not have the bone structure, or the face, or the like low amount of fat that Beyonce has. I'm gonna contour the crap out of my face. <laughs> then to warm up my face a little bit more, I'm gonna take the usual, which is Nude and Bored Bronzer by MAC, and then just warm it up. Okay, for blush, I'm going to keep it really soft and cute and not too much. I'm going to take Sex Appeal by NARS. And then at the Dutch drugstores, I recently found an amazing product. This is by Essence, and this is called the Metal Glam Highlighter Powder. And it's just the most stunning champagne golden glow in a pot. So that is what I'm going to use as my highlighter. So first... Take a little bit and put it on the highest points of your cheeks. And then also do your nose. For lips, you want to keep stuff really natural. I think Beyonce was just wearing a little bit of gloss, um, but I can't do that. I just need more in my life. So I'm going to dab a little bit of Max Flash Pot Lipstick on my lips to make them nude. And then as my lip gloss, I'm going to use Boy Bait by MAC. And this is a cream sheen glass. And that, guys, completes this Beyonce Mind Preview Music Video Inspired Makeup Tutorial. I love how Beyonce handled this entire album shtick. It's like only Queen Bee could do this. It's amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want a full list of every single product used and mentioned and what is on me, etc., etc., go to NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and all other places. And that is called Nikki Tutorials. My name is Nikki Tutorials there. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like it, that is. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.